At only 10,600 some odd pounds, this uh, Montana High Country 305 rear living, this is uh, a spectacular amount of RV for the weight and whatnot. Um, if you'd like to see if we have one in stock and available, please visit the link in the video description. It says check for price and availability. Uh, a little bit of snow flurry flurrying around today. So I suppose it's probably already a good time to discuss the fact that Montanas are and have been zero degree rated since 05 and counting. Um, you know, they're by far and away the single best fifth wheel on uh, the market in terms of sales records. No one uh, is uh, surpassing Montana the last couple of years. Uh, for the last, what, 15 straight years, they've been the number one selling high profile fifth wheel. Um, a lot of little reasons for it. It's a lot of touches. Like, they were one of the first to get rid of the carpeting down here in the pass-through. And uh, now, it's pretty common. You don't see a lot of carpeting in the pass-through. But again, Montana kind of set that trend there. Jayco was on the front end of that cusp as well. We carry them here at Haylitz, too. Um, instead, you get this nice, really industrial, almost like garage floor in here. So it's it's really uh, uh, rugged and whatnot. And that's kind of the whole message on a Montana. You see that we're peeking at that big drop frame uh, storage area right there with those magnet latches holding that uh, door with the slam latches up out of the way. But it's the long lasting nature of these that I think has really uh, catapulted them up to the, uh, the top. Um, at the time of this filming, actually, Keystone's fifth wheels were just named by... Um, uh, Trailer Life's, uh, they, they earned the uh, the gold award basically for uh, the, the Reader's Choice Award. So, you know, I don't have to say that this is the best thing in its class. You you folks at home, you have said that. You know, that, that was an independent poll by readers that put that together. Now, um, the, uh, you know, Quality Circle Awards that Montana's been winning for years, that kind of goes hand in hand with that. The uh, fact that this has the industry's uh, most involved three-year structural warranty is yet another facet of the uh, construction and the long-lasting nature of Montana RVs. These folks are putting it together. Another cool thing on the warranty is that they're actually warranted for full-time living. So it, it's it even the, your full hitch to bumper warranty has a more extensive coverage than virtually anyone else out there. There's a few manufacturers that'll match little things here and there, um, but no one has done all of the things that Montana's doing in those regards. Uh, the updated look of the High Country series as compared to uh, previous years, it's just stellar. It, it doesn't look like a separate thing anymore. It just looks, you can like, oh yeah, that's definitely Montana. You know, you don't have to be like, what is that? Um, you know, they share the same nose cap. They just have a little bit exterior different color packages. And that's a common question we get all the time is what's the difference between a high country and a Montana? And the answer is just a bunch of little stuff. The high country series that we're looking at right here, this is the weight and price sensitive Montana. Whereas the one that's just called Montana is far less weight and price sensitive. They're far more uh, feature focused and whatnot. Now they both share all, anything that really matters, they both do. They both have the, the drop frame storage. They both have the zero degree uh, temperature ratings. They both have the full time living warranty, the enclosed privatized heated docking center, um, the uh, enclosed forced air heated insulated underbelly with no water fittings below the floor line because it's the water fittings that are actually your weak points in terms of uh, winterizations and whatnot. Um, High countries have electric slides and leveling. Uh, Montana has hydraulic slides and leveling. So it's just, it's it's a few little things. And then um, in terms of the mechanical structural stuff, when you get up to, uh, um, you know, features and whatnot, like you'll see that the amenity level of a big Montana, as I call them, is an obvious kick up from here. But that being said, there's like, this leaves nothing to be desired. They have done everything that really matters here. You know, they got the uh, uh, twin air conditioners. Now, keep in mind too, things like that second AC, the king bed that you'll find in here. These are options that we have applied to this 305 RL. It doesn't mean that the one in stock is this 305 RL. That's why we leave you a link in the video description or you're welcome to call our team here at Halid RV anytime to see exactly what we do have on hand. It's And again, it's a hundred little things that Keystone does that you can't see. Like that, they, they have like five or six different um, leak prevention methods built in and around their slide outs. Like they, uh, they always have when the slide is in or out at least minimum three points of contact around the Montana um, slide seals. The uh, slide seals themselves 
uh, they uh, um, actually have a uh, interior, not not the seals, I'm sorry, the slides themselves. It's cold and my brain's freezing up, guys, here. I need some antifreeze, I think. Um, but uh, the inside the slide wall, there's actually like a rain channel gutter that will channel water away in, in the event that like you're running the slides in or out when the slide is opening or closing. The slide walls themselves are textured to grab the seals. The slides themselves are walkable. You know, not just to walk on roof, you can almost assume that at this market segment, but a walk-on slide-out. Now your air conditioning ducting, they even do something different with their centralized air conditioning ducts. Keystone's the only one doing it at the time of this filming. Understand that as uh, time goes on, I'm pretty sure more manufacturers are going to try to jump on this bandwagon because R&D and camping stands for rip off and duplicate. But where they're, um, I call it cereal box style AC ducting, which is the most common uh, type of AC ducting used in big fifth wheels and any quality trailer. Um, it, uh, where they meet, typically manufacturers used to just use this sort of like um, heat reflective foil tape. And there's nothing wrong with that stuff, it's fine. Keystone took it up another notch. What they did is at the joint areas, they actually have these little plastic inserts that they stick inside of those little cereal box AC ducts to keep the uh, AC ducting from collapsing over time. Your first year or two, you, it does not matter. They are building that into the RV for the purpose of long-term ownership. Montana is a brand that people will state like, hey, listen, you know, I've had my Passport Bunkhouse or my Springdale family camper. The kids are out of the house. I'm going to finally get the Montana retirement fifth wheel that I've been looking for. The Montana is the retirement RV. There are no, uh, I mean, geez, uh, I, I mean, they've built over 100,000 of these things. There's more Montanas on the road, basically, than pretty much any other brand out there. They've proven themselves ultra long lasting. They've proven themselves intelligently designed things like this little accessory uh, receiver hitch on the back. They left this wide open so that if you want to put a bike rack or something on here, you have this handy little uh, accessory hitch on the back to take care of that. This is built for long-term use and ownership. You know, this is the retirement grade RV right here. That's it's so many things they've done to achieve that and so many success stories, it's not even funny. Um, you know, the, the bigger uh, 16 inch uh, radials and whatnot. You got your aluminum entry steps here, because again, this is weight sensitive, so they went with a very lightweight entry step system. Um, and you know, I've got other fifth wheels with the same layout in stock here. They certainly weigh more than 10.6. Usually something like this comes closer to 12, closer to 13. Um, and that's another thing, this is 10,600 pounds. Uh, it's also, uh, you know, so you're super comfortably three, con three quarter ton towable. Uh, this is not something for half tons, guys. This is too big for half tons. You're, someone's gonna say, well, no, my half ton's rated for 12,000 pounds, and that's true, but it does not have the payload capacity to handle a big bedroom slide fifth wheel like this. This is not a half ton tower. Um, the entry door even, it's not only 30 inches wide, you hear about wide entry doors, but you don't hear about tall entry doors. Montana's use residential height entry doors even to make coming and going easier. Um, you know what, let's step inside. There, I, I keep talking about stuff that's inside the camper. Let's actually go inside the camper. <laughs> it really is impressive what they, uh, what they do with this. And then you realize that it's only about 35 feet. It still fits within that sizing sweet spot where you don't feel like you're necessarily hauling a uh, an oversized behemoth behind you. It's not pushing that 40, 45 foot mark. And I think that's one of the best aspects of the 305 High Country here at Halitz is it's really the most efficiently sized luxury fifth wheel there really is. Um, it's uh, got that direct facing uh, entertainment center here. You can see how the TV can pivot out for easy viewing. Those are um, uh, residential powered uh, theater recliners actually. What I like about that is like the ripcord style recliner, there's nothing wrong with it. But either the footrest is down or whew, it's up. There's nothing in between with a power recliner. You can kind of find that sweet spot. And I've, you know, Montana's aren't necessarily the product that people my age purchase. They're, it's the product that people my parents or my grandparents' age uh, might purchase. And, you know, I'm only uh, in my mid-30s here, and I've already got some hitches in my giddy-up. I've already got a couple, like, knee issues and stuff like that. Nothing that stops me from getting around. But I can imagine how that's going to be uh, more uh, obvious and evident as I grow older. Well, those are the folks who tend to buy this level of product. And I'm sure that extra little uh, personal customization of seating is something that they'll appreciate. Now, um, all Montanas, again, the important factors are here. Six and a half foot tall, full walk-in slide-outs. We've got 
maximum window coverage possible in this. We have the uh, roller shades to blot out the sun if you are so inclined. All windows are going to open for ventilation. There's wall switches for your overhead spotlight windows. Uh, you know, all of your uh, important convenience things like that are taken care of. Uh, High Country's here. They add this nice little skylight up here in the ceiling to let more of that beautiful natural light in. Uh, we've got whisper-ducted AC here uh, in uh, the living area. Your main AC is going to be whisper-ducted. Uh, basically, guys, the best way I can say it is uh, it, when you're looking at air conditioners, if you can see the square, you can hear the air. Uh, you're not looking at the, uh, the the square air conditioner inlet right there, so you're not going to hear near as much of the air conditioner. It is 70 to 90% quieter. Plus, you got that residential fan right there circulating some awesome airflow around here. Uh, now, we do have uh, uh, you know all aluminum uh, like wall, floor structure, all that. Uh, the ducting in Montana flooring, they all, they'll run a uh, heat duct right down the, uh, the middle of the floor effectively because that's the most efficient way to be able to heat an RV. Now we're getting into a, a RV segment that is big enough that you kind of want to, uh, more efficiency. In a little trailer, it doesn't matter. In a bigger thing like this with more cubic foot of space with these tall slides, with these tall ceilings, you want every bit of efficiency you can. That's also one of the reasons they put big, like, almost residential-sized furnaces on these things. So your TV can swing out for easy viewing. When you're in that power theater recliner, again, you're directly looking at this thing. It's just the simplest thing to be able to lock your eyes onto. With that, um, the bigger 34-inch uh, electric space heating fireplace. Now, we call that a fireplace. It's, in truth, an electric space heater. And I absolutely love that. It's got a remote control. You can keep that in the little hidden armrest storage right there, that little mini console between your theater seats, so that when you are ready to uh, add some extra heat to the RV without burning up all your propane capacity, you're good. And for guests, grandpa and grandma, you don't need to have grandkid guilt, because that's a big, I, I guess I'd call it like the uh, RV king-sized height of bed. It's not, it doesn't measure out to king dimensions by any stretch, but that is a big trifold sleeper sofa, and you'll notice it's a big three section, not a two section. So that is very like if you have a, a couple of adult friends, they will be very comfortable here. Uh, one awesome thing Keystone does all over the place is in their rear living rooms is uh, power outlets on that rear wall. They're fantastic for that. I, I it's something I appreciate because we've all got you know, phones and all kinds of different devices and gadgets and things we need charged here. Um, God forbid you ever need it, by the way. Uh, you need to manually override a slide out for whatever reason. Let's just say, like, you just lose all power or something like that. This little, uh, what looks like the keystone, the faceplate at the top of the slide, you actually pull that off and you can use a little, uh, it comes with the little mechanical drill bits that you just insert right into the motor and you can run the slide closed. That's why it's always a good idea to be uh, traveling with like a nice um, uh, like 18 volt power drill or something like that. We are not fans of residential refrigerators in general. There's certain applications that they are good for, but here at Halet RV, being a very service-oriented dealership, I mean, case in point, my brother is our service director. Uh, you know, my dad runs the place. Uh, for those who are just tuning in who don't know the history of our store, we, we're a, a, a true family-run outfit. We're the largest independent RV dealer in the state of Michigan. We're the largest standalone store. And we service what we sell and everything else. Uh, you know, we take care of folks, including just, like, the education you're getting today, but also long-term stuff. What we've found is the service records on electric-only refrigerators just aren't, it's not that they're terrible, guys. It's just that we don't like them. We like better than that. There's good, and then there's better. And we like better, and we like best. And that's what these offer us. This is a gas electric refrigerator, which has a lot of benefits. Because um, uh, you could, uh, I think you can get this floor plan. A lot of Montanas are available in two ways, with gas electric or with uh, uh, the uh, residential refrigerator. We generally keep our Montanas almost exclusively with gas electric refrigerators, so that when you're traveling, uh, if you lose power, anything. You can kick the fridge over to gas mode and be covered. Plus, it's made for going down the road. Now, this island rocks. They have killed this island. You've got, you can see the built-in wastebasket storage. You've got uh, five drawers in the island alone. Solid surface countertops throughout the kitchen, including that nice little entry stand in the background over there. Stainless steel sink. And what I love here is this over here is a full-size basin, but it's dwarfed in comparison. So a lot of brands are giving you either the farm sink or the double basin, and Montana does both, and that's awesome. They give you awesome, uh, you know, prep and, and uh, cleaning space here. Um, you know, there's an extra drawer below the uh, stove over here. They haven't wasted anything. I love that they flush mounted that stove for uh, uh, prep space. 
residential size uh, microwave if you're really looking for like big Montana will have a convection um, again this is uh, that's the more feature sensitive RV this is the lighter and weight and the price sensitive Montana but if the only thing stopping you is you just need a convection microwave we can make that happen oh there's lights above the dinette I didn't even turn on it's just with all the windows and stuff you just don't need it in here um, the uh, table if you are going to entertain some guests you do have that extension there so you can fit four adults in there comfortably although even with the chairs stacked up you can see that there is plenty of room within the slide. You don't have to have that that one chair goofy footed on the uh, on the floor outside of the slide. That's a technical term, by the way. I, I went to a camper presentation school to learn about goofy footed chairs. <laughs> Uh, here's another thing that they've done well here that historically this model did not always do well and that is it has this big easy access pantry with that motion sensitive lighting so the lights kick on when you need them they're off when you don't I love the little entry area here so first of all this right here is where I'm going to be charging my phone and my devices that's the most intelligent place to put that and you do have a real tile splash on the bottom here so if you want to walk in and just toss stuff down like a bag of groceries or whatever is in your hand the day you walk in you're good and the extra little accent lights they put both below the uh, cabinet area right there as well as above the entire cabinet up here just help spark this thing off add a little bit of extra light right there oh good i talked long enough that this turned off you get close to it ha ah! choir of angels sings upon thee as you open up your montana cabinet maybe not quite that dramatic um the uh, extra little bonus, or this like nice little entry bureau right here. I think you get the idea. Now, uh, another thing they've done very well in this, and this is such a pet peeve of mine, big giant fifth wheels that don't have a real coat closet right by the entry door. Montana does. That's, that's just one of those things that for me, I would not be spending this kind of money without a place to hang a coat. And this is hidden up away from where the grandkids aren't going to mess with. An extra little spot up here for like gloves is excellent. Uh, the uh, Oh, you can get to all your tank heaters. And I forgot to mention outside. This also has um, tank heating pads to help. Uh, not only is it forced air heated, insulated, uh, and uh, uh, enclosed underbelly, but they also have tank heating pads. Now, they have hyper-standardized the upper deck of uh, Montana's and high countries because they found something that works and they are just not going to mess with the Colonel's secret recipe right here. And now I want some KFC. That being said, it's funny because I love original recipe, but every time I go there, I always end up getting chicken strips. I don't know. That doesn't matter. You're here to... Why do, why do I even talk about this stupid stuff? Uh, sorry, I get caught on tangents. One piece, seamless, fiberglass shower, self-reinforced, big grown goofball like me can jump up and down in it without breaking anything. You see, you do have a corner seat here. And I've had people say, well, it's that's dumb. You have to sneak between the door and the counter to get in there. No, this is just the travel lock position. Oops, come on, get off there. Ooh, that is locked in place. You can slide that door out of the way for more easy entry. And he did see the corner seat. Now, this is neat. This is a very lightweight thermofoil countertop. So it's a sealed edge. And by going with that little corner sink, uh, thing they give you a little more space to work around the sink because that's not a small sink that's a full adult size sink it's just you don't have to uh, uh, you know waste all of your counter space by uh, with your your fixtures as it were the triple drawers in here at this size and price point that is an extra little thing they're doing here that I don't see done very often another thing I like to point out with really all Keystone products is the thickness of their interior walls they have three or four inch interior walls depending on the product and that every single door jam is fully framed out. You can walk into a Montana and thump on this. It doesn't buckle or bend. This doorway always maintains square because they put more meat on the bones where it matters. Full walk-in height bedroom, second air conditioner, and king bed are options that we have applied to this. Don't forget that. Uh, the uh, cross breeze headboard windows in the bed, those are standard, however. Full eight-foot wide side-to-side uh, -side storage closet. Although the right-hand door side there is washer, dryer, stackable, prepped. So if you are going to be doing some uh, extended living, traveling, whatever, you are all set to do anything, everything you want to do. Bedroom TV has uh, become a standard item, and that actually swings out for easy viewing because they went with that big cross breeze window next to it. They actually made the TV swing out so it can face directly centric uh, to the bed when you uh, do hop up there. So big front closet, uh, you know, the big washer dryer preps, it, they've nailed it. I mean, it does everything you need. Again, this is the most efficient floor plan in luxury fifth wheels. Um, you know, people are looking for uh, recliners. They're looking for 
that hide a bed. They're looking for the, the couple's chair. They're looking for the island in the pantry. This is the most space efficient, effective floor plan to do that. And that's why it comes in uh, just, I think, just a titch over 35 feet, under 36, I believe. So it, it hits so many sweet spots. And as a result of not being artificially large, by being intentionally uh, condensed in size without giving anything up, it also means you're not paying extra money for stuff you don't need. And that's another reason why this is uh, this floor plan right here is actually the most successful selling high country floor plan out there, statistically. Give us a call. We do hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, everything between a Halet RV, which is probably how we've become the largest independent RV dealer in the state. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.